I've been following him a little bit before, obviously making this debut. This dude's good, man. People are clowning on him. He's a, he's a meme on, online right now, but you can't meme his fight style because this dude fighting out of Team Alpha Male is a real problem for all of these guys. AJ, he wins a regional championship, right? Let me see. Let me actually, let me, let me pull something up right here, man. Four days notice, they say, Euros Medic needs an opponent. Are you stepping in? He says, absolutely, right? He gets the job done and all that good stuff. But the point that I'm making here, you know, this dude said, hey, 155 pounds, that's where I'm fighting in the UFC. You know, he went 6-0 and at 170 pounds, but all of this here before, this is all 155. So how impressive is it, AJ? Like legitimately thinking back on it, four days notice, yeah, 170, you've been kind of docking around there for the past year or two or whatever the case may be. But, bro, he fought a six foot, 170 pound Udos Medic, like one of the biggest frame guys, and made light work of it on four days' notice. Like, I'm not trying to overhype my man, but I feel like that's a very impressive feat given that when Jalen Turner beat Udos Medic, I believe it was an upset victory right there. So, trajectory wise, what are we thinking? It's hard to say, man, because I was looking at his at uh, Oral Bai's last fight, man. When I, I was watching this just for the uh, when he once he got on, you know, the the actual card. Once they confirmed, it's really started taking a look. And to, in that performance, it, he looked a little slower, looked a little bit labored, looked a little bit not as fast as I was expecting somebody to see. But he did have a big right hand, big power in there. And so there's the there's promises that he can come in. And then when he gets to this fight against Udos Medic, all that goes out the door, and he looked like he stepped up to the plate, like he literally jumped a level above what he used to fight at and it makes it interesting man because Udo Smedic the, yeah you, like you said man he's fighting at 170 but drops it down to 155 to actually fight where he feels comfortable that speed's going to be there the power's still going to be there now I'm curious to see how well equipped they have him at Team Alpha Male for his actual performances in the UFC because there's going to be more well-rounded people mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, if, if all uh, indicators are going right, this guy has everything necessary to be a serious contender in this division. I'm interested to see, man. I don't know where the skill is. I don't know where the ceiling cap is or where we can see him going at all because we need to see a little bit more. But he has all the promise for sure. What do you think? This is, a, uh, uh, I mean, not as ready, but this is an Islam Akasha. This is a Habib right here. This is a dude who can hurt you on the feet, whose real repertoire isn't really grappling, man. It's really more about his striking. But you see, he laces the legs when he takes you down. Constant takedowns, up, down, up, down. And that's that team alpha male, in my opinion. That's what that is right there. But more important, man, I just think that when you're able to take out a guy with a frame of Udos Medic, what are you going to be able to do against the much smaller guys at 155? And I, I'll agree with some of what you said. When I was watching film on Oral Bai, part of my concern was the strength of schedule. That was a little concerning for me. I was like, all right, you're beating these guys, but they don't really look, and you know what I mean? Like, Medich is a different guy than these other guys that you fought. But it was the same situation, man. You take a guy who's really good at something, and then you fight him where he's not good, and you win. And this was a clinic. And you don't even choke him, man. You just say, I'm going to break your jaw with a neck crank. And then he just finishes Medich right there. So big win by Oral Bai. Um, I think that a full camp... 155 pounds. This dude's going to be a real problem. I'm really interested to see who they're going to match him up against. But I think that resume wise, UFC debut, four days notice, Udos Medic. I'm sorry. I'm going to hype that up all day long because I feel like nobody is. And this is like a slept on feat. But when you see this guy making real waves in a year or two, maybe three. Yeah, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, remember when he stepped in short notice? Oh, yeah, that's right. This guy is a savage. So big win by Mike DeBeck, Otto Bai, fighting out of Kurzakstan, AJ. Shout out to that right there.